chances are you probably just hit level 30 on your zealot. And you're thinking, what is a good build? What can I absolutely carry people and just flex on them and enjoy myself on the highest difficulty of high in intensity, high elo, high whatever. Basically, you just want to play on Damnation and just flex on people that you're so much better than they are. Well, good for you. You've come across this video. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the best weapons for the Preacher. I'm going to show you the build and explain why it works. And hopefully you too can also just flex on everybody else and just enjoy the fact that you will never die. And if you do, it's a skill issue. So let's get started. So first up, you're going to want to grab yourself an Antax Mark V Combat Axe. This thing is beyond broken, beyond busted. If you thought the Power Sword on Veteran needed a nerf, this thing is well beyond anything the Power Sword will ever do. This is like if the Power Sword was the red-headed stepchild of the family in any melee class. This thing is disgusting. You get yourself some flak, some unyielding enemies damage, and nothing will hurt you. Carapace, not a problem. Flak, not a problem. Ragers, draggers, not a problem. This thing just demolishes everything. You're going to want Brutal Momentum, and then I chose Thunderous. I feel like Thunderous is pretty good for also cracking down a little bit harder on uh, the Carapace enemies, but realistically, this, this thing's just beyond broken, and I won't be surprised if it gets a nerf eventually. So abuse it while you can. The second thing we're going to be looking for is a Grappina Mark VIII Braced Autogun. Uh, flak and carapace armor and enemies, the only reason you're going to be using this thing is to kill uh, crushers. So right now with Zealot, when you press your combat ability, which is your F key if you're playing on mouse and keyboard, whatever it may be eventually for you people on Xbox and PlayStation, bless your heart, you guys don't have to deal with this uh, garbage-ass game like we do on PC right now. Hopefully it's better for you guys. Um, but when you, when you press your combat ability, it turns... Carapace enemies into flak armored, so it means you just melt crushers in like five bullets. It's really bad. I choose hit and run because I'm immune to ranged attacks for four seconds on a close range kill, which is great against crushers. And then terrifying barrage is also good for just saying fuck ranged in general. Now we move on to our curios. I have not been uh, lucky enough to get enough diamantine to upgrade all mine, but you're going to be wanting to look from anywhere from 15 to 17 percent toughness. You don't want health on this class because you get better perks from being weaker on your health than you do if you have good toughness. The only problem is you can't get like 20% toughness and it's all just 1% toughness, which equals just one toughness additional to your 100% toughness. So you're just going to want to look for certain things. Damage resistance to mutants, hounds, gunners, snipers, those are all pretty key. I choose to run uh, Revive speed for ally because again you're a zealot if you are down then you're not doing your job but your teammates if they're down then they're probably doing their job but they just are kind of sucky at it so it's your turn to pick up the slack for it and then of course uh anything for corruption resistance is also very nice if you happen to get it it's a lot more rare than some of this other stuff um i will eventually be re-rolling these but for example this one is probably the best one you could be looking for you know damage resistance to snipers some corruption resistance and then some toughness regen speed if you absolutely need it or if you feel like you're struggling against some of your enemies going into feet you're going to be wanting to take enemies within enemies without you get five percent of your toughness every second when in five meters of three enemies on higher difficulties this is pretty much just a guaranteed you're always gaining toughness back you're also going to want Retribution. You get 10% attack speed below 50% health, and that bonus is doubled below 20%, which is amazing because, again, as a Zealot, you want to be low on HP almost all the time. Benediction, you get plus 15 toughness damage reduction, and whenever you're within allies and coherency. Chances are in higher difficulties, everybody's abusing Zealot right now. They'll probably be abusing Zealot later as well, unless they decide to nerf this class, but let's be honest, Zealot's a better veteran anyway, so I doubt they'll nerf it. Instead, they'll probably try to buff Veteran. Holy Revenant, when until death ends, you gain health based on the damage you've dealt during until death. Melee damage counts and heals for twice the amount. The reason you want this is just in case. It is more or less a safety net compared to the other ones, which are significantly worse. With the Antax, you can kill five enemies on Damnation, like just even Pox Walkers, and you'll get your full health bar back. It's ridiculously stupid how much this heals you with that axe. And that's why we run the Antax. It's high hit speed, 
high damage, high health regain. Rising Conviction, hitting an enemy with melee attack increases your damage by 4% for 5 seconds and it stacks up to 5 times. It's just obvious. Damage, we just want more damage. Your entire point is to just be a meat shield who tanks a lot, heals a lot, does a lot of damage. You're basically also just a better Ogryn or Ogryn, whichever one you know, you'd prefer to call them. You're just the better version. You are literally better than almost every class. Psyker just beat you when it takes care of, like, snipers and other certain elites. But realistically, you're a better veteran and you're better Ogryn. The last one is Purge the Wicked, Chastise the Wicked, which is your combat ability, now has two charges. The reason that we take this is because you regain 50% of your toughness and it increases damage in your next melee hit by 25%, making it a guaranteed critical hit. It's just really, really nice to have two of them just in case you're up against Reapers. There's like a whole room of them. This allows you to kind of charge about, make moves, make plays while keeping your toughness up and not dying. Hope this guide helps you and I hope you enjoy this build. This build was taken from my friend Fatalist. They're an excellent Zealot player. They're the one who taught me how busted Zealot is and why it's such a great class and why I've kind of rotated over to it after I've done everything on Veteran. Even though I really love Veteran, Zealot just kind of has the better options and a lot of better play than Veteran could ever have. And same with Ogryn, or Ogryn. I also love that class a lot, but just Jesus Christ, Zealot is ten times better than anything that they will ever do. But you guys take care. Stay awesome. Hope to see you guys in the next build video.